Nobody's gonna say it, so I will. Well, I guess I am a nobody, huh? <laughs> You're a nobody. What the actual fuck happened with Halo Infinite's development? In light of recent events, it is now known that Halo Infinite won't ship with Forge or co-op campaign. Co-op campaign, mind you, that they said was a priority for them, especially split screen. And it won't launch with assassinations? Huh? I can't be the only one that's confused about this. Despite how fucking good the first flight was gameplay wise, now I'm nervous. I wasn't nervous before, but now I am. This game was supposed to come out a year ago. A year ago. How? What could they possibly have had last year? Immediately when the news broke that there was going to be no co-op campaign or forge or assassinations, a light bulb went off in my head and in this strange fucked up way, the path of the development nightmare of this game made some type of sense to me. When they brought in Joseph Staten, was the game so bad that he had to redo everything? Because that's what it seems like. If not for everyone's visceral reaction to the poopy butthole graphics at E3 in 2020, well over a year ago, the game was on track to come out that same year. Did they know the game was going to be delayed from the start on the day they finally revealed the gameplay? Or were they just content with releasing the biggest steaming pile of horse shit that humans have ever witnessed on this side of the Milky Way? Or option three. When Joseph came in, was he forced to pretty much restart development from the ground up? I'm not sure which option is more likely, but one thing is for certain, they are equally as embarrassing. This is absolute insanity, and I am in complete and utter shock. Charlie, aka Moist Critical, was right! <laughs> that Halo Infinite doesn't exist or is not ready to be released within the decade. And is the game even done now? They might have to delay it. At this point, no matter what they do, it's not going to be received well. They're fucked if they don't delay it now, and they're fucked if they release it as a 75% done game after admitting it's not even close to being finished. I mean, for fuck's sake, read the room 343. Gamers and consumers are tired of paying full price for unfinished games. How are you going to pull something like this right after Cyberpunk? They need to have a sit down with whoever's in charge of their PR slash marketing team because they've managed to screw it up at every turn since Halo 5. But now, I'm no marketing expert, I'm just a dumbass that buys these games, but after that flight was received so positively, they should have rode the wave from that and delayed the game and not gave any specific reasons why. We would have understood, we finally got a chance to play it and now know the game is real and much to a lot of people's surprise that it's actually fun. Most people would have been okay if they delayed the game for some more finishing touches, end quote. But instead, they admitted that the game isn't done and it was most likely never done. They took all the hype they generated and killed it in the street. Now that I'm thinking about it, the multiplayer is free, isn't it? So wait, what the fuck? What? What the fuck? What are we going to be paying full price for when we purchase Halo Infinite? A four, five, six hour story? Wait, what? Holy shit. Are we getting shafted? I feel so betrayed. Is this what it's like after a night out with Bill Cosby?